This example says absolute value of x plus 6 is less than or equal to 7. You always want to isolate the absolute value first, right? No matter what it is, isolate first, okay? So that's regardless of if it's less than or greater than, isolate that first. Okay, so I'm going to subtract a 6 from both sides. That gives me absolute value of x is less than or equal to 1. Okay, and then I am going to use less means nest. Less means nest. And by that I mean this absolute value is less than 1. So we do negative 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. And again, this works when the absolute value is on the left side of the inequality. So make sure it is before you try to use less means nest. Um, okay, well there we have it. Graph notation, something like this. Okay, we're less than or equal to, so we're gonna use the hard brackets. There we go, so this is at one, uh, negative one, and here we have the same thing at one. Hard bracket, you can also do a filled in circle, that works too. And let's just fill in this interval in between. There we go. Okay, get the idea. Okay, and then our interval notation just follows that. And again, it's the, the less means nest. It's kind of nest-esque, right? It looks kind of like a nest, nest, I guess, at least a lot more than the other case, which is the or case, where it's just a gaping hole that um, a bird or something would fall right through. But here we can imagine, you know, bird in here, whatever a bird looks like. There we go, sitting happily in the nest. This is a wing, I guess. I, okay, there's my bird. That is a sad looking bird. There we go, that's better. Um, do birds have, there we go. Um, okay, so that's the nest. Let's try another one. Oh, let's try interval notation here. Interval notation. Right? Interval notation mimics the graph notation. Right? And it goes from left to right. So we're going to start at negative 1. We're going to include all the stuff in the middle. We stop at 1. This is not a point, negative 1, 1. This is representing this graph notation. So there's the interval notation. Let's try another one. Here we have absolute value of 10 plus 3x plus 1 greater than 2. Okay, so again, isolate the absolute value first. Right, get it so it's the only thing on the left-hand side. Get everything out to the right-hand side. That's what I mean by isolate. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. That gives us absolute value of 10 plus 3x greater than 1. So now we use more means or. So this is greater than which is kind of, you can think of it as more than. It just helps us remember this. More means or. More means or. Okay, so what I mean by more means or is this. We first do just drop the absolute value. 10 plus 3x is greater than 1. Or 10 plus 3x less than negative 1. Okay, so I just rewrote 10 plus 3x, and then I changed the direction of the inequality, and I added on a negative. Okay, so this is what gives us both directions on the number line there. And then we essentially solve each one of these for x. We treat these inequalities like an equal sign. Okay, so that gives us 3x greater than negative 9. I subtracted a 10 from both sides. Over here, um, I subtract a 10. I get 3x less than negative 11. Now I'm going to divide by 3, so I get x greater than negative 3, or divide by 3, x less than negative 11 thirds. Okay. Where do we go from here? We graph. Let's do our graph notation. Okay, so negative 11 thirds 
we need to know what that is. So this is this is the point where you would probably drop this into a calculator just to be on the safe side. All right, so that's about 3.7, 3.67. So this is about negative 3.6, just so we know where, where to put it on the neg on the number line. Okay, so let's see here. So we have, let's do zero up here. Here's negative three. Here's negative four. Okay, so it's either less than 3.6 so let's just go right here. It's about right about here. Okay, it's going to go there and we go down to the left or it's greater than, so bigger than negative three. And I'm doing the soft brackets because it's less than and greater than, but there's no equal to sign under these inequalities. Greater than and then we, f and then we shade from there. So let's shade that out. All right, go something like this and down to the left, all the way out to infinity. All right, so there is the graph notation. Let's check out the interval notation, which is honestly more common, right? Although it helps to deeply understand the graph notation, the interval notation is kind of shorthand for the graph notation. So we're reading this from left to right, negative infinity, and then we go, 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 and then we stop at negative four, we don't include it, so I'm going to put a soft bracket here. We jump over the gap. We do that with a union. Start again at negative 3. Go, 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 go. Off to infinity. Remember, we never include infinities um, because they're not considered a real number, so we don't use a hard bracket on infinity. There we go. Interval notation.